Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Since we put the camera down last night, we fell apart. Or I <laughs> fell apart. I don't even know if we really said that I had a headache last night. Migraine. And I woke up with it. Yeah, so she's still finding that. I did, like, we've almost felt the cuss just now. <laughs> um, we went to bed pretty late because like, I stayed up and finished Les Mis. Someone dozed off, but she needed it. I couldn't fall asleep. Like, I did not fall asleep. I was tossing and turning all night. Came out here and sent a quick work email at like 8 a.m. with Eve. And then finally fell asleep on the couch from like 8.30 until now it's 1 o'clock. <laughs> but I like literally did not sleep at all last night. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know what my deal was. I just couldn't fall asleep. Also, we only have one form of that modern day common currency <laughs> known as toilet paper. Sure. So... I'm gonna go venture out into the world and find the whole goal. The whole plan was for me to wake up early. That's why I woke. I had an alarm go off this morning, yeah. So I could go to the store, like write it open. Literally was the bane of my existence. Too. But that was the plan was for me to get up early and be like at a Target or a Walmart, write like, it open. Um, just because I know I know they're getting toilet paper every day. It's just you need to get there early. Well, now it's one o'clock, so now I'm gonna. I anticipate having to go to having to go to multiple stores. <laughs> Oh, oh no. As I was trying to leave, I went to go grab one of our vegan cookies. <laughs> and Sarah goes, go long. And I didn't play sports, so I fling shot it like a frisbee. <laughs> and it nails the wall. A piece hit there, <laughs> chunked, and fell behind the couch. And I'm leaving. Sarah's got this all covered. <laughs> you handled my drink last night. <laughs> You'll handle this. <laughs> yeah. But yours is a reward. You can still eat the cookie once you get it back. It's gonna be so dusty. But you can clean it off. First stop of the day is the Publix in Winter Park. I'm not hopeful about these Publix, but I'd rather just check these close ones before I go venture out down closer to Universal area in downtown Orlando. Well, like I presumed, first shot of the day, not happening. But plenty of stores to go check. Second attempt, a Walmart in College Park. I think I'm still in College Park. All right, no toilet paper, but they've got a large amount of paper towels. That's something, you right? We got pallets over there, pallets right here. That's looking good, but no toilet paper. Stop number three is gonna be the Publix on Edgewater, our retro looking one, but I'm not, this is always a smaller one, so I doubt it'll have it, but I'm gonna check anyway. Once again, completely empty, but see, this is a small one. I didn't expect it, but they do have a couple rolls of paper towel, but I think I'm gonna pick up olive oil and some other things while I'm here. No toilet paper, but I did get olive oil, some garbanzo beans, and cauliflower so we can make some buffalo cauliflower. And we need the juice from the garbanzo beans. It's like an egg substitute for the vegan worlders out there. And we're gonna try to deep fry some pickles later and that'll be used as a binding agent for us. This is not my car, but it looks just like it. And had pass holder magnets on it. That freaked me out. Now we're hitting up that Publix in Mills District, right by the Target, where I'll probably end up after this. I thought I heard a woman in the parking lot say it, but I had to see for myself. Still out. All right, I have a good feeling about the next place. I'm a sucker for a good deal. I was on my way out of this Publix, and they, Publix has great buy one, get one deals, and this one had BOGO torti flour tortillas, so I love, that's like my go-to, like whether it's like, for actual burritos, or I like to put like hummus and spinach in them as like a snack, like for a lunch. Like, I just always love tortillas. Deal. Well, I'm checking out this supermarket before we go into Target because it's right next door. Look at all of these different hot stickers and bows. This is heaven. Heaven. All right, this one's a long shot, but I got this one and one more on the way home. But this is the second to last. But. Might as well since I'm in the neighborhood. For what I expected, Target is out as well. We'll be okay. We have one more stop. Quick visit, but props on Target. They had a whole army of people sanitizing the baskets and carts, and then they had a whole other team that were organizing the lines to check out with big red um, stickers where they're six feet apart. And they had people coordinating, like, all right, now you go to that queue, you go to that queue. 
you go to that queue. It's like these people are working in Disney World attractions or something. So my adventure is quickly coming to an end. There's one more market I'm gonna check on the way heading back towards Winter Park. Um, my bad for not waking up early, but I just couldn't sleep. So if I can't find it at this last market, we'll be fine for another couple days. But it'll be easier during the week to head up right when uh, right when stores open. All right, last last stop of the day. I haven't been here. We always drive past it though, Fresh Market. You never know. Sometimes you gotta go off the beaten path to find something simple. Um, this is coffee and tea heaven. A whole aisle of coffee, tea, and seasonings. They even have Cafe Du Monde and Ovaltine. What? Didn't have what I was looking for, but that was awesome. Checking out all the different packaging and all the different products they offer in there. I will have to bring Sarah back to, I think, both the super, supermarkets, but mostly this one. Um, I think there's a lot of things that we could go, a lot of trouble we can get into in there. I decided I want one more little check. We're gonna stop at Miller's Hardware, downtown Winter Park, because I saw a box of, like, restaurant toilet paper last time I was here. I'm curious of what's going on in there. Just so you know, we have options that would work, but I don't know if I wanna spend like 40 to $50 on toilet paper right now when we can just go to a store later. But this is what I saw last time, legit. I just love local hardware stores. Um, almost got some more moxie from in there, but I got it next time. Thought about getting a cheer wine, but I didn't. Um, but they're always so friendly in there and they had all these special things up there for the six feet and everything. Um, but like I said, I didn't want to spend 40 to 50 bucks on toilet paper. Plus those are really for like public areas and what if there's a restaurant or I don't know, like a more emergency related thing that has to stay open that comes here and needs that for their bathrooms. When we just don't quite need that. We're not to that point yet. Now it's time for me to go home. Here we go, I am finally home and I picked up some curry tofu pub subs for us to manja on for like a late lunch, early dinner. Guys, we like, we don't know the Bucket List family, but we like the same stuff. Like they love, Get one of Garrett's top five favorite videos is About Time and they've used they use the music, music all the time. And now apparently during the quarantine, they've watched yesterday <laughs> and they love yesterday. You doing that? Probably. She punched me. They've watched yesterday. She wants the, it's the french fries. I picked up french fries on the way home. And they love yesterday now. You can tell because they've already used the music. So I'm sure they'll talk about it too. But we love yesterday. I want to watch yesterday later or about time or both. Or both. For our Sunday fun day. But I'm going to max on this whole. I like eating sub sandwiches really fast because of my subway days. Subway Sandwich Artist Certified University of Subway graduate right here. Hi guys, it's me, Sarah. My hidden secret is I chew my clothes and sometimes I even cause holes in them. That's our Brookhart Project shirt too. I know. Oh, did I just show the needle? I think I did too. Sorry. Um, I've been researching for the past hour different fundraiser ideas. I've been eating junk all day because Monday's the day mm -hmm. it all begins. He's starting his training. He's going to get into... We're still showing the needle! So. Um, but what we're going to talk about today is my idea. And that is a blood drive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about I it later. About that. Yeah. Okay, so ever since Peter ended up donating blood, um, we've been talking about the idea of having like a virtual blood drive. Um, we aren't going to do it through the Red Cross or anything very formal. It's just going to be an informal blood drive. Um, but we're hoping that some of you will take the time to donate blood. We know that a lot of areas um, are on stricter lockdown, I think that going to give blood is one of the reasons you can leave your house. Um, but if you donate blood, you are bound to get like movie tickets or you know, there's the big red bus. So we would like for you to take a picture um, wherever you are, wherever you decide to donate blood 
and then just tag us in it on any form of social media. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, you can even message us on YouTube, email us, anything that you have, feel free to do. Um, and then we will send you a thank you note and some of our stickers from the Plain Crazy Button Club. We found a ton of them the other night when we were cleaning up the front bedroom and we wanna give them to you as a little incentive for going out and helping others in need that need it, obviously, at this time. So there's no special hashtag, there's nothing that you have to sign up for. All you have to do is go to somewhere local that is um, taking blood donations and tag us in it. <laughs> the funniest thing just happened. Sarah accidentally activated her Siri as she started singing because I was we we're talking about me starting my Peter Rambles podcast in conjunction with our. You know what I heard though? Atheist. I said I hope that this quarantine doesn't start middle-aged white men from starting. <laughs> I'm basically True. <laughs> on the inside. Anyway, Sarah so was like, "Well, I have all the files from your Peter or from Vlogger Street." I was like, "Well, can we reincorporate that into Peter Rambles?" And Sarah's so like, "No, it's all about the O in Vlogger's View." And she started singing, "We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out like we always do. Figure it out." And can you see it? Her phone picked it up as like her question to Siri. <laughs> It is so funny. But I was actually singing it to Eve. What are you Figure doing? Figure it out. Oh. Figure it out like we always do. Look at me without a hat. I need a haircut. We're currently negotiating terms and conditions on what movie we're going to watch. Sarah wants to watch Sound of Music. It's three hours long, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah's trying to tell me she's going to be awake during this movie. And she's trying to negotiate that I'm not going to do anything else while it's going on. But I want to work on the laptop at some point during it to set up a Patreon. Um, and, look them up so, and look up some other details on fundraising. Because I believe tomorrow's going to... finger If ACS can get their stuff finished, tomorrow should be the beginning of fundraising USA. Reaching out to corporations, lifestyles, well, at and least running. Well, planning it. Yeah. Because like we said... Is on dark times, there's no denying it. Yeah, and coming up with like a list of plans and setting up the peer to peer, like so that anybody can donate too. Like that can start happening once the website's open. Yeah, um, I'm also approaching tonight and this weekend, like it's a stereotypical, like, what's it? What last I, hurrah. Yeah, like a last hurrah. So I'm gonna have to have like my 15th pop of the day. And I'm probably going to max on a bunch of these chips over here. Because starting tomorrow, running, eating healthy, cross-training is going to be a big thing. I'm going to have to take a challenge and learn how to do. Because I don't know how to like train. Like weight, I know weight training, I mean. Jonathan Van Ness uses. Thing. For weight training? Or like body, like, like muscle building? Okay, so Jonathan Van Ness, thanks for the hookup. We'll be checking that out. Because I need to do that and start running. Because I need to get this body to be able to run seven marathons in less than two years. Look at this pup contently how many times have you seen Sarah with this big comfy blanket in the past two weeks it's become part of you and I'm so happy call me uncultured or not this is the first time I'm ever going to watch this from beginning to end okay if you've never seen this movie you need to right away plus look at this awesome scene <laughs> oh, the last 30 minutes of that movie Ooh, that's an emotional, scary ride. Um, I loved that movie. Sarah confessed that she has only seen that one other time from start to finish. I don't even know because I feel like I'd fall asleep as a child because I'm the same human now as I was <laughs> always. But before we do the message and uh, go to bed, we have to watch. John Krasinski started a new YouTube channel called Some Good News. And we all know that I love... John Krasinski and he just reinvigorated my need and want to grow this beard out because he has a beard and it looks devilishly handsome. So we're gonna watch this and then gonna I tweeted him our good news. Maybe he'll feature us. Maybe. Steve Grell, John wow. Krasinski. I think you and I counted, this is the best thing ever. When you guys are watching this, it'll be Peter's little sister Sarah's birthday. So put happy birthday to Sarah in the comments below. 
the 29th, it is never too late to be what you might have been. George Eliot. We just spent, I don't even know how long, watching the Cirque du Soleil videos that somebody posted in our Facebook discussion group. They're so awesome. Also, I totally forgot that this weekend would have been Country Thunder here in Florida, but obviously it did not happen. It was rescheduled for October, which we probably won't be able to go because of the marathon, because of how um, close it will be to our due date, but um, still sad. Remember, like I, I kind of just like hadn't thought about it, but it was supposed to be Country Thunder this weekend. My name is Sarah. And my name is Pina. We're the Brookhart Project. <laughs> Remember, go donate some blood, take a picture of something and that I while you're there, it doesn't, you doesn't have to be with my chicken scratch. Your needle, like I showed the needles earlier. Um, Sorry. But go tag us in a post of some sort and we'll send you some stickers. It's 1.30 in the morning and I'm barely tired because I've not even been awake for 12 hours yet. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.